speed. <laughs> Good afternoon, people. This is day one, adventuring on the Suron. We got it all dialed in. I somehow managed to get this thing into my SUV by myself, which was actually insanely difficult, way harder than I thought it was gonna be. But we did it. And uh, today's our first day kind of out on the street with it cruising. Right, so this is actually my second day riding it since uh, the first day I rode it. I kind of didn't really ride it the last two days. I really, I need to start riding this thing every day to get super comfortable with it. It's gonna have to be an everyday affair. I think we're actually gonna slice this way. Get across the street. Gotta make this left. We're in familiar territory today, a place where we usually start our videos. But the thing is, we're gonna be trying to ride all types of different stuff that I usually can't get around to super easily on my BMX, like this. Let's see if we can creep up in here. This is the Buddhist temple. This place has been under construction for like, literally probably like three years. It almost looks finished now though, which is lit. See how the stair bombs feel? This is gonna be my first ever actual stair bomb on this thing. Oh wow, that is so cushy. It feels like a full suspension mountain bike. Like I said, this thing really feels more, I feel more mountain bike than dirt bike while I'm on this thing. It's still gonna take a while to like, figure out when to sit and when to stand and like I can kind of jump it which is sort of insane but the elote man on deck I should have brought cash dude I'm actually starving I haven't eaten at all today and I didn't bring any cash I could have easily hooked the gramps up anywho oh shit I have to first stop and strap up my helmet because it's not strapped up after that we're gonna get on a nice long cruise so real quick i just want to mention if you guys are excited for the future Suron videos make sure you hit the like button on this one likes the easiest way to help the channel they help each video and they help me know what you guys like and what you don't like so if you like what you see make sure you hit the like button stop right here and put my helmet up strap it up nice and tight one thing that i will have to come to terms with is the inability to scratch my nose easily dude but one thing about being on this bike is i feel like so unlimited compared to the bmx like i could just cruise anywhere People freak out about this thing everywhere I go. That thing was just like, what's that? Only thing that would make this thing like super more ultimate, but it already is, is if it could bunny hop. It can jump. It's just not as totally like, the thing is 110 pounds, give or take. So dude, there's just a stray dog. I don't know if it's a stray dog. That guy seems to kind of be with it, but this is not a place you'd want a dog without a leash. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it is stray. And I'm gonna go ahead and imagine that that stray dog will not like the sound of this electric motorcycle. It's got a nice little downhill right here. We can't really ride on any sidewalks out here. It's just too many people walking around. Anywho, not really sure where we're going right now. We're just out on a cruise for today. And uh, I'm gonna keep trying to get comfortable with this bike. If I see any terrain where I can kind of ride it, then that's where we're gonna be getting down at. But more or less we're just going to be cruising you know and i'll be trying to figure out exactly what type of stuff we can film in the future obviously the main thing is going to be like exploration is going to be huge we can do 40 miles on this bike pretty much you know whenever we want anywhere we want so that's going to be sick there's way too many people right here on the sidewalk so we're going to cut traffic how lit is it that i can just do that The vendors, damn, that shit smells so good. They're getting it cracking today. Hey, I still feel like maybe half of people that see this have no idea what it is. You know, here's my usual sidewalks where I'd usually jam down on my BMX top speed. Can't really do that here. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to jump that. I'm gonna try and do it. <laughs> not so much of a jump, really. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, you can kind of bunny hop this thing. That's the funny part. Like my tire definitely got off the ground there, <laughs> which makes no sense. Like how is this thing able to be bunny hopped? So sick. 
All right, so from here we have two options. We can go to MacArthur Park. We can go to the city of downtown. We can really go wherever the hell we want. We have an electric bike, baby, with a full battery at that. Um, I think we're gonna get a quick, quick cruise through MacArthur Park. Oh my God, <laughs> it's totally buffed right there. Not the move. Asshole. Damn, that place is dirty. This place is getting dirtier every time I come by it. Cruising. MacArthur Park, crazy as ever. I think we're good to go here. Get a quick rip through the park. <laughs> wow. I can't believe how much fun it is to just shred around on this thing. You know what I am wondering is what is this capability of going upstairs? Does it go upstairs as well as it goes down? There is a perfect spot to try right here. I wonder if I could just torque it up these stairs like a BMX and just make it up. I don't want to try. Oh God. This bike is something, if you buy one, you should probably start working out. Cause you don't need to be buff to ride it, but being buff is gonna help you a lot. Just in general. My stem just, my bars just move. I don't think my bars are in perfect alignment. I can't really tell. No, it's not bad. Anyways, what's up? Going up didn't work. Let's uh, go down. Cause I know that'll work. This might be a good park to learn how to wheelie too, but I don't know about today. <laughs> I see small children, time to slow down. All right, we're gonna make our way out of this park for now. That was extremely fun. I'm gonna creep through here. Kids are very unpredictable. Never know when one might jump out. I'm gonna go this way through the dirt. And continue our journey which is just starting today because we have about 45 minutes of sunlight. I meant to get out here way earlier, but I was battling with myself. I don't know if it's like the same with you guys, but when you try a new thing, like it takes a lot for me to actually get out and do it. So even though I just bought this bike and I was like, man, I got to make some videos with it. I still want to do like BMX videos and whatnot, but I'm going to switch it up with this too. It still took a lot mentally for me to get out and ride it. I mean, obviously I had to get geared up, you know, I got gloves and a helmet and everything else necessary to kind of just have fun with it and feel safe at the same time. But um, yeah, I want to bomb these stairs too. Dude, this, okay, this thing is a stair bombing machine. Who knew? I mean, the dirt jumper is in one, in one way, but this is like a whole nother level. Straight up chilling and cruising. This dude is training for something. I'm in. Keep it going, brother. Get it in. And we are gonna keep cruising. I guess we're gonna go, uh, dude. <laughs> wow. Who knew a grown man would have this much fun on an electric bike? Wow. Damn, that is the greatest feeling, just jamming on the gas. I'm not even in sport mode either. Oh wait, yeah, I am. No wonder it's so throttly. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna put it in eco mode, actually. I really had no idea I was in sport mode. <laughs> that could be a fatal mistake one day. I'm trying to figure out where to go. Just kind of straight cruising. These streets are dangerous to so just cut across. I gotta do it like I'm on my bike and just actually just wait. For the left side to be clear and then the right and we're off nice you know we're out here in the city so it's not like i'm gonna find stuff to like jump most likely 
and sidewalk curb cut stuff I usually ride on my BMX is not quite as on limits because you know uh, I, I cannot run the risk of hitting a person that's just not I've never hit anybody on my bike I still remain true to that whether it be BMX or my dirt jumper or anything and now this I've never hit anybody and I don't plan on doing it anytime soon <laughs> I gotta stay focused wherever I'm at whether that's on the sidewalk or in the streets you know this thing is gonna make hill bomb so fun dude should I bring the hill bomb videos back what do y'all think it's so possible on this because I have brakes I'm fully geared up I've never even geared up on my BMX but here's the thing I will never I will never ride this thing without being fully geared up ever every time I set foot on it I got my chest protector on I got my helmet on and uh you know that's uh that's just how I ride this thing that's how I will always ride it even if I'm not wearing those things and I'm not riding that's just my idea with this why is there a flood of water right there oh wow I gotta figure out how to like do simple things like go up curves easier I still gotta learn how to wheelie today my goal was to get out and ride to like a park and then try to wheelie at a park for like you know an hour or two and just try and get them down but uh, that didn't happen I was pretty late to get out today so instead we're just doing a cruise through the neighborhood and seeing what's good damn I haven't been down this street in a while they took this one over it is straight up taking over crazy right we're gonna weave through a little bit of traffic right here like we're on the BMX but not quite as dangerously and we're going slow dude I feel so free on this bike like to cover the amount of ground I already have so far like on the BMX that's a whole video straight up like that is legit an entire video and right now I'm just getting started which is incredible bike life that's what I'm about she was riding with one hand and the other hand on the phone almost fell about that life but I know you guys miss seeing my beautiful face I just uh this helmet is such a pain in the ass to take off that the intermittent talking parts where I'm chilling are gonna be done on the GoPro and you're just gonna see what's going on around me the price we pay for protection um so anyways we're gonna zoom down Hoover dude you know what I should do let me know if you guys are into this in the comments should I do my first ever actual ride through Compton in like three years on the electric dirt bike how lit would that be bro I'm gonna jam the street for a second right here I don't really like being on main streets at all so we're getting right off of that I just wanted to get some speed real quick I avoid main streets no matter what whether I'm on my bike oh this would be such a sick street if I knew how to wheelie I don't so I'm not even gonna mess around and try until I properly learn them in the streets but this would be the street anytime there's palm trees lined up W see look they got the idea they're having a photo shoot these palm trees people just love them what up <laughs> this is just photographer's alley I guess what's up with that oh I see a little hit <laughs> that's the type of stuff i need to look for like hips you know a little like actual jumps like um, wedge to wedge type activities dude smashing i just ended up in a random alley i freaking love this thing this bike may be an absolute game changer for what i do i can explore places i've never even thought to explore before look at this i can go in here What is back here just a bunch of weeds I don't want to get poison ivy I have flooding ass pants on oh wow <laughs> my freaking feet are completely covered in grass I don't want to run over a sinkhole or something oh. so I'm gonna get up out of here but dude look at that I never could have done this on a BMX there's no point oh my god dude I am so stoked right now on this freaking bike game changer when they talk about game changers this is a game changer wow all right we're already on pico holy cow we're moving as far as upgrades for this thing i have 
I mean, I don't really know. Definitely want to uh, get a better headlight. They make really bright headlights. I went riding in the night the other night with this headlight. It's not too great. It's good, but it's not great. So I want to get a really bright headlight. Um, and I don't know. I kind of like how it is. I want to get a cushier seat. And I'm definitely keeping the dirt tires on because I love shredding in the dirt. That's what this thing is really going to be for, is shredding dirt. Dude, I feel like we've done so much riding. We're only at 95% battery. We use 5%. No matter where I'm at, I'm gonna turn around before I hit 50% though, so. Not even sure what exactly we're gonna be getting ourselves into between here and there, but. This is day one, bro. I can just feel like I wanna be out on this thing all night. It's so fun. Okay, I gotta learn how to jump it properly because I, I am being nose heavy on everything I do right now. So whatever I'm doing is not it. I'm like a dog chasing cars. If I caught one, I wouldn't know what to do with it. Little Joker reference for my movie heads out there. Anywho, I'm just literally aimless right now. I guess we're gonna go to K-Town. Sport mode. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Absolutely bussing. The definition of bussing. I'm trying to cross right here. Ooh, look at that spot. That spot's actually kind of lit. That's a police station. <laughs> yep. Wow. This is also a great day for me so I can get comfortable, you know, operating like I'm riding a dirt bike in traffic because it's obviously not the same as riding a BMX. I could ride it like it's a BMX. I could wait at the crosswalk and do all that stuff, but uh, I do enjoy also operating it like a car, you know, as I quote unquote should be. But even, is there a way that these should be ridden? I mean, obviously, if you hit someone, yeah, then there is should, uh, should be, but... You know, as far as the law states, it is not a motorcycle nor a moped. So, with that said, as long as it stays in that gray area, that no man's land, I'm going to ride it like it's in a gray area. Look at that Rastafarian hydrant. That's pretty lit. <laughs> oh, damn. You can't even ride on the sidewalk right here. That's kind of insane. There's so much random stuff right here. Look at this. We've got a soccer ball, a fan, some luggage, uh, pallets. What the? That scared me. We got tires, tires on tires, a baby unicorn, lots of Modelo, a bike wheel. That used to be a lawnmower, another bike wheel. There's a bike, there's a door. <laughs> Straight up, there's a door. Wow. You made a yard sale about that? You can make a, what the, f what happened to this car, bro? <laughs> Shit got painted. That is unfortunate. Wow. Anywho, we're in Koreatown just crossed the border kind of sort of and uh we're gonna explore out here for a bit see what's going on very nice everybody's staring at this thing anyway so i'm at least gonna be somewhat kind and say hi to people who are just like what is that contraption uh yeah but right now i want all you guys watching to get in the comments let me know your thoughts on the the suron so far what do you guys think of the videos or this video? Cause it's really the first one on it. What is this? I think this is so you can still, they can save their parking. <laughs> Dude, that is hilarious. That is how they're saving their parking. That is how expensive and rare parking is in Koreatown for those who don't know. My buddy Bingo used to live out here in Koreatown. He would routinely drive around for about an hour before finding parking. Oh my God, my nose itches and I can't do anything about it. Right to you. So we are in the back streets of uh, who knows what and where. Just exploring, looking for something to do. I'll tune in when we have something to do. And we found something to do. Whoa. <laughs> That's what it's for. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh sh Let's go. Some of my natural steeziness on the bike carries over to this, but not entirely. There's still a very steep learning curve that I have to go through to get it used to this, but I sort of feel like I'm on a BMX, like not in obviously the same way, because this is about six times the weight of my BMX or five and a half, something along those lines. It's not really the same at all, but it kind of does feel like I could, I sort of feel similarly swaggy on it. I need to get like a little rear view mirror or something. If anyone has one they can recommend, let me know in the comments because that's something I need. Because I feel like I don't like cranking my neck back and forth constantly. I feel like I'm always going to miss something. The mirrors help you like look forward and also glance back before you commit to turning and have like a better idea. Dude, my nose is driving me insane right now. 
I can't even itch it. Oh God. We're gonna shred down this alley. I think this is a T intersection, so we're gonna chill a little bit. A lot of broken glass. Road work ahead. Nice little hop. Oh God, it's a tiny dog. I gotta be careful. Not just for him, but for me. <laughs> he wanted to attack so bad, but he couldn't make his mind up on if it was worth it or not. Wait, where am I going? This is a dead end. This is a dead end both ways. Guess we're going this way. Is this a school? Loyola High School. There's a full on football game going on in there. That's pretty cool. Where am I? I'm like in a school's parking lot. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up here. How do I get back to the street? I can go this way? Okay. <laughs> nice. Thanks to that helpful gentleman to get me back on my way. I didn't even mean to go there, honestly. Bam, thumbnail. This is a pretty, a lot of broken glass and plastic here, but the alley's not a dead end. What goes this way? I'm intrigued. See some gravel, I gotta go. Oh shit, it's a little sketchy. Nice. I don't know if this is a through exit. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Nice. Dude, so much adventure is gonna be had. I'm so excited, bro. I am so excited for the future adventures on this thing. We are gonna do it all, folks. If you're new, subscribe now because we're about to be busting missions on this thing. I got extra batteries for the GoPro. I got the extended SD card. We can get two hour long videos. Why not? We're gonna do two hour videos out here. <laughs> now I feel like I don't know when I went to end. I'm just out chilling. I guess we're gonna start cruising um, sort of in a big circle back. I don't even have to though. Bro, I got 90% battery. My GoPro ain't dead. Matter of fact, let me hit record so I can make sure I got all this. All right, folks, I am sorry. I just realized that the camera angle was pointed kind of high pretty much the entire time I was filming so far. So in the future, that will not be a problem. Oh, this gets kind of rubbing. Uh, the beautiful thing about this setup is that A, I don't want to have to wear the chest mount anymore, which I hate. I freaking cannot stand wearing a chest mount. I don't know if I ever talk about that that much, but bro, I hate wearing a chest mount. It seriously demotivates me from even wanting to film sometimes, so. Okay. Uh, so I don't have to do that. All I have to do is put a helmet on, which is what I was going to do anyway. Always going to be riding with a helmet. And secondly, it means that I can have the GoPro in the exact same position every time because when you have a helmet mount, it's mounted to the visor, at least the way I have it. And that just means I need to tighten down the visor and the, the GoPro uh, screw mount. And then boom, it's in the exact same position every time, which is great. Uh, I'm going to try and jam across the street. We're going to start making our way back. The sun is now setting. Look at that mural of Jordan. That is dope. Even though it doesn't have a face. I don't know why it doesn't have a face. <laughs> yeah, so sorry. In the future, this is probably the perfect camera position. Let me know if you guys like this angle a little bit better. It's got my hands, my bars, everything, and the horizon as well. The rule of thumb for a GoPro footage point of view is you want to have what you're doing in the bottom half. Thanks. And in the middle, you want to have your horizon. And then the top half, you know, is kind of just like, you want a little bit above the horizon. So like the sky, obviously, or whatever. But, um, yeah, you always want the lower half to be exactly what you're doing, like your hands, the bars of your bike, or if you're like on a ski mobile or I don't know, there's not many other things you do point of view besides bikes, so that's pretty much it. Uh, so in the future, like I said, angle is going to be dialed like it is right now. we got to make our way up out of here before the traffic hits. Flying. This is max speed in eco mode. I think uh, it's at 31 miles an hour. That's a little bit higher than it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be 28, but let's see, we're gonna hit the street real quick. We're gonna hit sport mode. Tell me how much I get in the speedometer. I can't even see. Yep, 
up. That's fast. I don't know if that was top, top speed, but it's probably pretty close. Nice. I know it may look like I'm going on the sidewalks a lot, but you guys can't really tell on the GoPro. I can see pretty far ahead if there's people walking on the sidewalk. If there's someone walking, then I either slow down a lot and go behind them or just uh, avoid it altogether. But the thing is, the streets out here are just brutal, man. Why? Here's what. Here's my theory on it, is if I can avoid riding in the street, I would like to, <laughs> you know? That's just how my philosophy has always been with two-wheel devices. You know, some people insist on riding in the street. I am not one of those people. I really am not. Uh, I'm trying to get around all these people right here. Hey, how you doing? This is kind of like the worst way. I wonder if I could take this alley. Oh, sick. Damn, this is nuts. I just definitely heard a voice coming from that alley. A little ruggedness. Oh, 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 suspension working. Oh, oh, suspension working. Suspension working. Let's go. <laughs> Dude. I definitely, I'm, I'm wearing goggles right now, which is like, it's not really necessary, but I just, uh, I feel cool wearing them, so I'm wearing them. So <laughs> that's pretty much it. And they're tinted, so when it starts to get dark, I'm gonna take them off, but right now, they're not really affecting my vision. Warp speed! I slow down preemptively because I don't know if cars could come from there. I don't really like, sport mode for me is just kind of like, it's there. I probably will not be using it that much, to be honest. Except for when I want to do wheelies. I'm pretty sure you have to use sport mode to wheelie. What a day. We've gotten through a lot of alleys, which is great. And I think we've done a lot of ground that I've not seen before out here in K-Town. So that's always cool. One thing that has happened a lot, which I edited out, I hit the horn button like three times. I don't know if I need a horn per se. I guess it's good to have, but it's super loud. It's really jarring too. So I would prefer if the horn turned on and off the headlight and then the horn was somewhere else like somewhere where it's actually hard to push like here because there's not many times i need to use a horn i kind of don't need this whole speedometer get up i don't really care how fast i go all you really need is these two buttons like the sport mode and the ep mode i wish there was a switch that was just these that would be sick that'd be perfect actually if it was just these two and then there's a horn like literally like a <laughs> like a squeeze horn or some shit. That's uh, that is what I would do. All right, familiar territory here, the train entrance. We're just mobbing through because this is on our way back. I was actually thinking about taking a train here today, which uh, I may do in the future. I shouldn't have a problem taking a train on this thing, right? Let's see if we can hit the bank. Yes, I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. I'm gonna be riding this thing forever. It jumped, kind of, sort of, not really, but it sort of did. I'll be riding this thing for a long time. Oh god, we'll carve into a stair bomb. <laughs> oh my god. I should not be having this much fun. Madness. Excuse me, OG. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's right, brother. I'm out here cheating, man. <laughs> All right. We are out of here. Exiting LA for today, back to the high desert. You know what else is cool? I can do videos out there in the high desert. Before, like, there's no point in me, like, I don't know. There's nothing to do on a BMX out there, but on this, dude, the content ideas are limitless. All right, brother, ride safe. That's me on any other day of the week besides today. Still about the bike life, still about the BMX. Still will probably do BMX videos in the future, but uh, man, what a great way to switch things up. I think I'm gonna be filming on this thing for the foreseeable future. Oh, that was a perfect jump. That one was perfect. I sucked it up just right. I don't know if you guys can even tell that I'm jumping. <laughs> Probably not. 
you can like sort of manual it too which is kind of crazy not like obviously without the throttle but man it's got the birdie can we just bomb up this hill Oh, eco mode, barely made it. We need a sport mode for that one. <laughs> barely made it up across that. I guess we're gonna check out this park. Dude, this is gonna be like a 45 minute long video. I have so much usable footage so far. And the thing is, I'm not getting tired. Like on a BMX, I'd usually be super tired by this point. I would have been home. I would have been back in the car and halfway home. Where can I go here? I don't really think there's anything for me to do here. So I'm just gonna scoot right back out. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a freaking, it's got a throttle, so I'm not burning any energy. I'm probably burning a little bit of calories sitting down and just, you know, scooting around on it, but. Oh, oh I was trying to make that sick, but I wasn't ready. <laughs> I'm losing it, bro. I'm having too much fun. I don't want to go home. I just want to keep riding this thing. I don't want to go home. We do have to make it home though, one way or another, before it gets late. One thing I don't want to be doing is riding this bike at uh, nighttime, because even though I'm wearing high vis, um, and I just ordered a high visibility backpack with a reflective on the back, it's still just, um, you know, I don't want to be out at night on a bike, especially in the streets. It's just not, it's not what I have in mind. So yeah, I don't think further explanation is really needed. That is all. Um, from here, I don't know which way to take. I think we're gonna go straight. Ugh. Oh God, I gotta learn how to do jumps, dude. I'm gonna, I do not wanna go endo, that's not gonna happen. So before that happens, I will learn how to properly tuck up on this thing. I think I'm not pinching my legs. Oh yeah, that might help. I've never jumped jumps on a dirt bike, but I've hit like pump tracks and stuff. Never like full on jumps, but when you do that, you're like pinching your knees constantly. Like how when you're riding BMX and you're gonna bar spin, you're constantly pinched. So maybe I should start getting used to doing that on this. Might help me feel more centered. Right now, we're just trying to make our way home, home and home. Also, if you guys have any like tips or general advice you have for me, just go ahead and feel free to leave it in the comments. I know a lot of my viewers have ridden motorcycles, dirt bikes, etc. So if you got anything like that for me in the comments, feel free to shoot it over. I happily will read everything. I'm not, uh, I'm not, what's it called? You know, the type of dude who turns knowledge away. If you got something to say that's helpful, even if it's kind of critical, I'm happy to read it. Cause uh, I'm here to learn. I'm like a sponge. Sick ass Jeep with a little dog sticking his nose out. <laughs> All right, we are busting it back slowly but surely. Now I understand that it's not super safe to ride on the sidewalks where there's like driveway entrances because a car could come out of there and destroy me, but I'm trying to be as cautious as possible about seeing them and uh, avoiding them on sidewalks where I see that they are there. Anywho, we're about home. I mean, not home, but back to the car. We have to tear up this hill right now, which is gonna be a blast. I'm gonna go ahead and whip it into sport mode. <laughs> nice dude instead of a hill bomb that's a full speed hill climb how about that twerking it all the way back let's get some speed the crazy thing is you can easily go over the speed limit like i'm already at 30 the speed limit here is 35 that's uh pretty wild if you ask me this is already too main of a street though i try to avoid main streets as much as possible this is uh beverly and uh, I'm not really trying to be on it, so. I'm gonna go ahead and cut across and hop on the sidewalk. Creeping though, you know, it's easy to pretty much avoid anything coming out. Like say, I could have stopped. That was a pretty good stopping distance if you ask me. I was about mm, five feet from going like 15 miles an hour. Really not bad. I do plan on upgrading the brakes on this thing, but you know, at a certain point, upgraded brakes only help so much because you still have weight plus speed equals inertia or something. I don't know. Uh, and doesn't matter how strong your brakes are, how good your tires are, there's still only so much stopping power you can have for a certain amount of weight going a certain speed. I think, right? I don't know. Maybe some of the engineers in here can prove me otherwise if I said something incorrect, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. All that aside, wow. So much fun to be had in future videos on this bike. 
Let me know your guys' ideas for future videos in the comments. I am super stoked. I'm sure you guys have more ideas than I even have. Right now, my mind is just like, I am having so much fun just pedaling around. So I, I don't even know. I could just do this all day. I, I could do this all day. I don't know. This is like what I usually do, but just on steroids. It's so fun. Bus life. What's this? Everything's getting run over now. If you thought I was running over a bunch of stuff on the BMX, you ain't seen nothing yet. And I know probably an inevitable question is, do I have any plans on getting on a real motorcycle? And the answer is absolutely not. You will never see me on a motorcycle. A real dirt bike? No, it doesn't even have interest to in me in that because I like this is this is it, bro. This is the end of the line for me. This is the most thing that I need that's a bike with a motor besides my bicycles, which don't have motors. That barely made sense, but you get, you know what I'm getting at. I got my car, I got my SUV, I have my bicycles, and then I have this. This is it. It fills all the spots for me. There's nothing else. Word. I want to take an interesting route home. We're going to go this way. There's a super sick hill we're going to go down. Do not really feel like splitting lanes with cars. We're going to have to a little bit right here. Anyways, here's a street that I want to bomb. <laughs> Shit hit max speed so fast. The acceleration there was so rapid that the throttle could not even keep up with how fast I was going down the hill. <laughs> Wicked. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Dude, I covered so much ground today and I still didn't even touch the surface. We got to come back here and do another dirt bike video. For sure. Especially because my angle on the GoPro is kind of screwed up for the first half of it, which is kind of a bummer, but... You know, it's all good. A day on this thing, man. This bike is something else. In the future, expect a lot more videos on this thing. I am just obsessed with it right now. So uh, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button on it. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.